hello and welcome welcome to my channel um, and today I want to have a look at the actual software update so to do that we go into settings then we um, in general here we've got the software version number and if we have a look uh, this is version 3.12 0.4.3 okay and from the top version 3.12 for your paper tablet to be as easy to navigate as your favorite thinking spot we've moved some things around and given our thumbnails a spring clean create and find content with the minimalistic menu at the top of the display and tap or swipe down in the top right corner to open and toggle quick settings so there's three things I did go over them they're very similar to the beta update so the creative shortcut the dust jackets that is what we know as a thumbnail and the new navigation space and some other improvements we've added timestamps for documents so as well as other options for viewing your files and folders you can now sort items by the date that you created them so that's awesome I often see people wanting something like that. So the first thing we're going to look at, oh, let's go back. Let's do this together. Let's have a look at the creative shortcut. Now you used to be able to close out. No, I just wondered if they'd updated it. Um, so in here, we, so this is number one these are number two and this is number three and number four is going to happen in here but we will do that in a second so number one down here we so what's happened is up the top there used to be add folder add notebook add quick sheet that used to be in the middle here up the top now there's a remarkable button and that is an active button. So if I go into work and I click on the remarkable button, it will get me back into my home desktop. This is my desktop, right? So that is working. In here now, you can search straight from here and you can type and just remember, your search works on file names. So notebooks are files file names, folder names, PDF names, ebook names, and tags. That's what the search looks through. Then when you get inside of a typed document, a document, not a, not a PDF, let me cancel. Let me find, uh, here's, a, here's some typing. I think I did it for this reason. <laughs> Um, in here, what's really cool, they've really improved the search. Uh, it's down here. You see the search down here? So if we tap on search and we look for the word pays, and it's going to ask you, do you want to look through the whole document or do you just want to look on this page? So if we just say let's, we want to look on this page, press search, and can you see that? Look at that. Now, if I close, uh, you can go next and there's no next and there's no previous. But like in Adobe, when you do a search, it looks very similar to this. When I cancel, the keyboard goes away. If you were looking for, I'll put it up here so you can see it. Now we've got two of the word pays. All right. Now, if we go to here and we press search, it's going to remember the last word you typed. So that's all good. We're going to say, yes, we want to look for page. We're going to search. It is not going to find the handwriting. So just understand that search works with um, typing inside of a document and outside of a document. One finger from the top closes the document. And out here, it works with folder names, file names, which are notebooks, PDFs, and ebooks and tags that's what you can search for so if in here i type for the word today t-o-d-a-y 
you see that tag there it's going to bring up where that word is uh, if I close that you can still see them but in um, inside of a document when you close the typing window it goes away so that's now moved here because this little search magnifying glass used to be over on the top right okay now in the plus you're familiar with this menu you can add a folder you can add a notebook and you can add a quick sheet so we know how to do that if I add a folder it's going to put folder I just leave it at folder and it's white because there's nothing in it if we add a notebook it's going to ask for settings I'm going to leave it like that and it's going to add notebook 17 to here and if we add a quick sheet and I had a quick sheet then it would add another page into my existing document but I do not so I'm just going to put here so that you can see it when we get out one again tissue paper very gentle from the top now you can see where's the quick sheet gone <laughs> it's changed over the time uh, oh I mean you know what my bad when we come out you're going to find it's in the uh, my files you see that quick sheets when you when you add a quick sheet it always comes back here unless you rename it and move it the only difference between a quick sheet and a notebook is the settings and the purpose of a quick sheet is like sticky notes you just keep adding into the same document all right so that is um what 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 was that called let's just check creative shortcut so that is creative shortcut all right now let's go down to digital dust jackets go back 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 and we're on my files always remember this is dynamic this word it takes you back to files so if I'm in work and I click tap on my files it's dynamic it takes you back in here all right dust jackets are thumbnails so now you can see the two lines that is for a native notebook a notebook a plus notebook gives you two lines I just want to hop off that now this is a PDF this is the uh, recipe book for my ninja foodie grill that I've got and can you see the dog ear on the corner here that tells you it's a PDF um, if we go into ebooks I only have one on here uh, I don't use my remarkable this way but you can see it's got slightly rounded let me see can I bring it up can you see the slightly rounded corners on it that is an ebook dust jacket all right let me just let me just sort that out there we go okay so let me go back to my files so they are the thumbnails that have been um they look beautiful they do 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 um so that's the digital dust jackets the new navigation is in the top right so let's go back 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 and over here now watch this when I tap on that which looks like a battery icon so if you remember it used to be over here on the left bottom left now it's up here and it's a lot more dynamic so it's saying it's connected to my Wi-Fi um, if I want to go airplane mode I tap it and it's going to disconnect right now from my Wi-Fi so that's cool that's disconnected if I turn airplane mode off wait for it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve wait for it there it is so it's reconnected if I want to screen share you can do it straight from your home uh, home desktop now and you just connect to the app so you always screen share between the desktop app and this tablet they have to be paired 
and you need the desktop app open on the computer that you are screen sharing with. And yes, you can then project your computer onto your TV or onto a bigger screen at work. So that's really cool that you can get from here to your desktop app to another screen that is possible. Uh, and that tells you how much battery is left. And if you tap on the battery, it doesn't take you anywhere. It didn't used to either, but that's cool. Um, that's, see that? I tapped on our house. I didn't actually know that. I have used this a couple of times and I didn't realize it takes you into your Wi-Fi. So that's cool. So it's dynamic. It's a dynamic space. And the other thing, um, which we could go back and look at, but I will show you now what they're saying is they have put in last modified, last opened. I thought all of that was there before. Timestamps. Oh, maybe it's under the last modified. If I'm sorting by that. So I only just did that. Now, if we look at it in list view, it might have the time on it. No, it doesn't. Let's go back and check. Settings, software update, release notes. Here, we've added timestamps for documents. So as well as the other options for viewing your files and folders, you can now sort items by the date that you created them. Okay, so the timestamp is a date. All right, so back here, you can see... Hmm... Last, last opened, last modified, last opened. I'm only sorting right now by this. Okay, not sure what's happening there. Um, but I will turn what I've done, just so you know, I, this is, that's more or less the end of um, this video, but let me just show you. I turned off my automatic updates because sometimes an update's pushed through and then a beta comes in straight away. And so I wanted to do this video first. Then I can turn, switch that back on and see if there are updates, uh, if they've changed anything with a beta update. So maybe that is why I'm not seeing the date. Not sure. But um, that's pretty cool. I love the new thumbnails. They're really cool. And this is tidy, nice and tidy. And I love the dynamic um, space here. So that is the software update 3.12. Um, I'd love you if you want to support the channel. Please feel free to shop on my uh, website over. I've got my beautiful shop and I've always got sales going on. So you get a really great discount over on my website, wholeheartedmecollective.com. And please like um, and leave a comment and say, hi, oh yes, my recording is interpreting my thumbs. All right, I'm going and I will see you in the next one. Bye.